Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Lazar, welcome back to Lenzo Windbreaker, let's get straight on to it, alright? Right, so we've already seen the monsters that have invaded other parts, and now we're gonna see that they've invaded this part as well! I can't climb the... Oh, wait a minute, I don't need a climb, I can... I can just do that. <laughs> Alright, so as you're gonna notice, the bridge is out. That's why I knew we would need the, uh, leaf. What do you have to say? Ho-ho! So close, if only I could fly to the top of that hill, if only. We got rock had to try on the phone. Oh, I knew this was what I was thinking. Is it a secret? Yes, quite a secret. Interesting. You should tell me more in a future episode. Alright, so now the wind's blowing the right way. Alright, and now we're finally in the uh, forest. You remember how great this place was, right? Hey, how great it was, you know, the the monsters and the goblins and the and the saving of Tatra and the the weird the weird weird shape of it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure the monsters are here for one reason, and I think we all know that reason is this. In the fairy fountain. We've saved one fairy! Young Waker of the Winds, allow me to aid in your quest. You can now carry more rupees! You can hold up to a thousand rupees! The fairies in the sun shall ease your weariness when you grow fatigued from your battles. Come here to be refreshed! And the fairy's sad because I decided to keep playing that bottle. But that's okay because catching fairies means we have life. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good stuff. Let two fairies use themselves on me. Alright, now here's the best part. Because these guys give night crests. No, they don't. Why 
Link, will you stop doing that? Oh, he's got bombs, he has more rupees. Stab him in the butt, stab him in the butt, stab, 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 stab him in the butt. I don't think those guys are working right. <laughs> But it's fine, it's okay. I'm getting the heck out of here. I'm running away. Alright, okay. Um, let. There's more mail. Here's the mail, it never fails. It makes me wanna wag my tail. When it comes, I want a well mail. And it did say underneath it. Hey. With the power you have now, you can neither lift nor destroy that stone. And you have somewhere on the sea, the power to do so lies with one waiting for one to find it. You must seek it out. Well, okay, Mr. Cryptic. Um, I do like the leaf because it really does make fall damage really trivial. Good evening! I believe we have one. Here's your letter! Here's your letter! Sorry to disturb you with this unsolicited letter. If the following does not interest you, please tell the letter with a second thought. But this is your big chance! Do you have any of an empty bottle, a piece of hardware, or a treasure chart? We have them at special bargain prices. But we have only one of each. Okay, so the shop, shop ship up near Rockspire Isle. First come, first serve. Can't wait to see you. So those who are trying to read this letter, please set my humble away. Says the manager, Rockspire Shop Ship. Alright. The... They gave us a green rupee. <laughs> Alright. So now's the time we use one of our fairies up. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <gasps> oh, Link, is that you, Link? Grandma's always happy to see your bright shining face. Link, my dear sweet Link, you're safe. That's just wonderful. Just wonderful. Did you do this? Did you heal me? Oh, you're such a sweet child. But I stole. Oh, that's right. You and your sister Arrow are trying so hard to be strong, and I'm just sitting here moaning and worrying. I'm your grandmother. I'm the one who should be taking care of you. So sorry, Link. I haven't even considered what you must be going through. I'm a terrible grandma. Link, this is all I have to give you right now. You can keep it in your empty bottle. But... I don't need it! <laughs> you sister love this soup, don't you? If you run out, I can make it for you anytime you like. I was going to try and be strong, so you be strong too. But don't do anything reckless, alright? Okay, I'll do everything reckless. Bye! Bye! Link! Link, come back! <laughs> and now, because we have a 1,000 rupee wallet, I'm actually going to do this here. And we have not done this to this point. But underneath our house... There's a cave. In that cave is a chest. In that chest is 100 rupees. 
Yeah, that's right. I've been hoard I've been lying ass hoarding my hundred rupees just for when uh we got the rupee upgrade. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ow Are you ready? That's the case, then we must search for the cave around the back side of outset where it government just said to hide. Yep. We're ready for this. Now here's the problem. This is a boss of sorts. Okay. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta blast away the wall where it tells you to blast away the wall. And there we go. That's it. The cyclone dissipates and um, we're able to go straight into Siege of Booms. Oh man, indeed, Jabu. I am pleased to see that you are safe. And he only speaks an ancient tongue, so uh, I will loosely translate. You are late. I expected you five years ago. When Link was but a baby. Yes, it seems Ganon has returned. There can be no other explanation. The fact that you are here this late means I had to leave my home. You jerk. Unfortunately, that is not so. How do you not see it that way? The one I have brought with me has no connection to the legendary one. <laughs> and yet I sense great promise in the courage that this one possesses. That does nothing about me losing my home. I've lost everything. I had children there. There was Tabitha and Mikey. I do. It is the only way. Look, I can help you with this child. But only if this child knows the truth. I will give you this key so that he may learn. You got neighbor's pearl. The war spirit Jaboom was kind enough to give you this jewel, a treasure of one of the goddesses. I'm sorry you lost your home. <laughs> Please avenge Mikey and Tabitha mm -hmm. and my wife Emily. So that fall rain and endless night were indeed elements of a curse brought on us by Ganon. He must intend to cast this land into pure darkness for all time. Oh yeah, and don't forget about my pet Sparky. He was a whale. A whale! I believe I have. 
Stop ignoring me, King of Red Lions. I know you understand me and that Ken is just speaking over me. But avenge my family. Lake, that was very rude. <laughs> Gen's crust has been broken by the power of the pearl that Jabim gave us. So morning should come soon. It is all well. It is well that we have gathered all of the pearls. Are you ready, Link? I have marked the places where you must set the pearls on your sea chart. Once you have placed each of the pearls in, their prop in its proper location, the proving grounds for your courage will become apparent. Clearly, the search for Jabim has shown that Gan has begun to make efforts to, blo to block our path. It is certain that the perils ahead will be greater than any you have faced thus far. You should finish any business you have here on onset right outset right now so that you shall not have any regrets later. Granted <clears throat> But I don't believe I have any other business here on outset. I'm just checking the mailbox because I can see it from here. No, nope, that looks like a still mailbox to me. Um, we haven't seen this in an episode, so uh, in a whole episode, so uh, hi, small fry. So we already have the chart for this island. He didn't need to give us the chart. However, it's the information I'm after. Is it beneath the big side boulder on the top here? Is the treasure, greatest treasure of all, the guy? The Golden Triumph Forks! A berry. <laughs> but actually, Fry, I may have misheard something. That sounds like. Because one guy told me that what was actually buried beneath that weird rock was some shot. I heard of something called a Triforce. Who ever heard of that? It's crazy. There's a big difference between Triumph Forks and Triforce. I mean, I think someone intentionally buried something misleading there. And that's all I got, the info I got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you will to more bad on the water for me. Sorry, that's my policy, Fry. Alright. Blech. 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 Alright. So basically, we're going to sail toward these uh, islands. And I'm going to try and get the uh, places I am uh, aiming for. I'm going to try and get the fish fly I'm on my way there. And if I need to, I'll pause and put bombs on if I need to fight something. But otherwise, I, I'm i pretty sure that... I'm pretty sure that I'll be okay. <laughs> that I won't need to. However, it looks as though... The end of the episode might be us... Getting to one of these islands. We're at Five Eye Reef here. He fairy lives in outset. Uh, it's also the fairy final with Julius Verens. Still fairy down there kicking. Yep. yep. I wish I would stop doing that because I freaking keep doing that a lot. I'm not really looking to get the treasures. Not unless if it's a uh, regular treasure. If it's a regular treasure from a treasure chart, I might grab it while I'm on screen. While it's here on screen, but uh, otherwise, that's basically it. I'm gonna wait till we get to the uh, first of the Triangle Isles. 
Cause you... If you're at this point, you see where... And if you've been following along, you see where, uh... Our chart has been... is leading us toward... And as a matter of fact, I believe it'll show up as I do this. Yeah, you guys see those two squares that are... Two of those squares that are left, we've been to before. And they're straight up the triangle aisles. So... Triumph, folks. Well, it's right there, my young friend, on that island, you know? A chart showing where you find them. Of course, this game. I mean, it's a hard part. Okay. So basically, right here, we're just trying to find the, uh... We're just trying to find the aisle that would be for this one. Um... Huh. And there is this. You freaking kidding me. I did not have bait lined up for this guy. Okay, come back to him and throw the bait in the water. Let him come to it. God, looking at a shadow over the water, it, it kind of looks like a prawn of some sort, like a giant prawn. Stone Watcher Isle. Island. Tell me, Smallfire, have you heard about the Golden Triumph folks? There are such things. And the island there has one of these golden islands that you keep hearing about. If you want it, just ask that huge grudgy stone look. Grudgy looking stone watch it. Doubt you could even budge the thing though. You got skinny arms, right? That's all the info I got to offer. Ba la la la. Ba la la la. Okay. So moving along, moving right along in search of good times and good news, good friends you can't lose, this might become a habit, California here we come that high in the sky that warm trees and warm sand, though sadly we just left Rhode Island, moving right along, getting this fish gone. Run away from these guys, they're from Saskatchewan. Moving right along. Get this fish to plan our chart. He didn't want the food, so he just... He just shook it apart. Southern Triangle Island. The main photographer lives at far to the north here on Windfall Island. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike! Mike, can you stop it? All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, huh? Place the pearl you hold here. Uh, I didn't mean to do this. Oh! You place nearest pearl inside the ancient statue's hand. Two pearls are made. Well, that's that's all we're doing this episode. Okay, we're not going any farther. We're letting Link be upset, but that's fine. We are hidden here. Here we are hidden here in the grass. They have no idea where I'm at right now. Now, so next time on the other game library, we're gonna be going through the other triangle islands and placing pearls and then finding out what happens. See you guys then.